Yeah, so we're going out to see my older brother and him. He's a couple of years older. Uh, we're going out to see him in his farm at Cower. He's a dairy farmer. Cows are milking really well for me at the moment. We changed our system two years ago from a, from a grazing system to a fully fed system. Uh, and then the drought hit. There's a lot of farmers out there doing it very tough. My wife and kids are away, so I'm coming out here to Cower for the weekend uh, to give him a bit of a hand. Cheer him up. Try and cheer him up. He's a grumpy bugger. And when I mean grumpy, he's grumpy. I'm probably crankier than Nathan. Probably being the more dominant one in the family, I guess. And I'm becoming a, a true dairy farmer. They just seem to accept not getting too far financially. And 12 years ago when I come out here, I said, no way, that's, that's not on. We need to be making money. We're milking cows in freezing cold or stinking hot and we're getting shit all over us. I, I enjoy it, but a lot of people will go, no way, I'm not doing that for, for a living. Good pass as well for Ian Hindmarsh. And they'll be cheering down in a dairy farm. Yeah, Ian was a good footy player. Um, a lot of people probably don't remember that we actually played together early on at Parramatta. And then he went off to the Raiders. Yep. And then he went over to the English Super League for the Catalan Dragons. And he came back for a year, had a really good year at Parramatta, but he had to retire to come out here. Ian Hindmarsh brought the money and grit of rugby league to his dream of dairy farming. But in this game, the goalposts are somewhere over the horizon. He's been gang tackled by the drought and feed costs that leave his milk price far behind. The only answer is more milk. And with infrastructure costs that I've got here and debt load I've got here, these cows have to be doing a lot of milk. I can't, I can't semi-starve them. Like these cows are in great condition, they're doing great milk, but that's the system I'm in. I can't pull my costs back. I'd like to. I'd like to tell people to stick their feet in their ass. And I did the other day, and then I had to ring them 24 hours later and say, look, I've got to take it. It's OK, you know, cos help's on the way. Your brother's coming up. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he can actually milk cows. He's not silly in that respect. Really? He can. I remember primary school, and Ian was into breeding pheasants. Like, he was always into something. And he convinced me to spend all my money on buying a peacock. Yeah. The frigging thing died after two days. <laughs> God, it pissed me off. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to have yeah. me. What are you He's doing here? <laughs> Oh, what what's you, this? What are you doing here? What's this? Could have at least tarred your driveway. Is this Dust a everywhere. Is this a surprise? There's a big surprise. Oh. Big brother. What's happening? Same shit, different day. Yeah, tell me about it. So you've come dressed to work in a white shirt. You know me. Ready to work. What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Who knows how to drive a tractor? Anyone? What am I doing wrong? Is that the horn? There we go. <laughs> Dig it out! <laughs> it's stuck in this tractor. <laughs> I can't. I can't open it. Which way does it go? Yeah, I was squeezing that. You gotta squeeze it back to get a little shot. Don't use the clutch. I don't even know what. How do you mean not use the clutch? I'm just reversing this thing. Okay. What's your will? Its fabled river flats and reliable water brought Ian and his family to Cowra. The plan was to irrigate and grow feed. But Lachlan River water is now too expensive. Its feeder dam, the Wyangala, is down to 25%. So we're going and buying it and we're losing money doing it, but either way we're going to lose money somewhere and we just have to accept that for the next... next however long until it rains decent and feed prices come back. Those prices won't dip, while those who can irrigate pass on the cost to Ian. Dairy farmers can't do that, so feed has risen 120%, milk prices 10. Rugby league gave me what I wanted, and, and that's a hard thing. I've got it. I've got it now, and I'm really failing. To, to keep it, and that's a hard thing, and there's nothing I can really do about it. But... Well, the game's rigged against you, it seems. Oh, it? yeah, 100%. Yeah. You can't win, and the harder you play, like, yeah. at least playing NRL, you get another game next week, and, and you can try harder next week. I can work harder and harder and harder, and things just get harder and harder and harder. The worry is that if things get really crook in Cowra, droughts in Australia must be getting bigger. The further west you go, the, the worse it gets. And I mean, we're on the river, so we're lucky we've got stock water. You go away off the river and some guys haven't even got water for their stock. 
This is a typical winter wheat on our grazing crops. So it's sown early um, with a purpose of a dual purpose. So it, we graze it through the winter with sheep and then lock it up and it, we run it through to harvest the wheat. But as you can see, it's suffering greatly. A lot of moisture stress there at the moment. As the last green tinges are bleached from Robin Mandy Taylor's crops, they're heading into unknown territory. This is unprecedented, isn't it, this period right now, pretty much, in well, this area? Yeah. Well, we've been here all our lives. We're on the fourth generation that's farmed in this region. And whilst we've had dry times before, we've certainly had some big droughts. I don't think I've seen two consecutive failed springs of this magnitude. Just for the exercise, Rob showed us some new technology. This is just a moisture probe. It's uh, in a core. It's two metres deep and, you know, it's just some of the technology we use. And what's it telling you? It's telling me that the tank's empty. <laughs> you know, there's nothing left. It's dying. It's dying and uh, it'll fail. Cow in particular, um, they've got a lot of closed shops. Um, you've only got to walk up the main street and, yeah, there's a real feel of, of worry. Even local, locally in Young, we've lost, you know, the local Target store and the local, other local, you know, businesses. Do we ever get those back, you know, when things are good? Tech savvy and forward thinking, until recently the tailors were able to sell feed. But now this is needed to keep their stock alive. How far that might go is what gives farmers a gut ache. No one's making us do this. It's, we're here by choice. And, uh, We'll just tighten the belt and ride it out and things will improve, you know. It's, um, we're all in it together, like I said, and we might have to bite into our equity a bit again next year to go again, but we'll do it again. Elsewhere in the Lachlan Valley, it's more obvious the region's 600 millimetre annual rainfall has deserted it. Half fell last year and a third so far this season. Michael, does it worry you a bit that this could become a trend, a sort of a, a the new way of weather in Australia? Yeah, look, it does, yeah. Not often we get, in this area, get two really bad years in a row. I mean, I've been at this now for about 40 years and this one's potentially worse than last year on top of one another. So, yeah, it, it is a bit worrying. The feed crops are failing on the Peyton family farm and 3,200 ewes must eat. To avoid a dust bowl catastrophe, it will be $3 a week per animal to keep a century-old enterprise going. I've been a bit dogged and um, I've tried to keep my program going and keep my sheep and people might say, well, you know, why didn't you sell your stock? But you don't know when this is going to end and, and buying back in is a big deal. You know, I've got four people employed here and, uh, you know, you've got to keep everyone doing something. I don't like having to put men off or or take that course, so I guess we've we kind of, we are digging a bit of a hole for ourselves and um, if it doesn't rain, uh, it, it's not going to be pretty for us. Gaffer has some support there. Martin, Martin Martin is, who will bounce off the Abbey and score beside the post. That'll be the winner here tonight in Canberra. I think I probably could have done better at my career. I retired too early, uh, and I know that now. I, when I was at Canberra, I was focused on building this dairy, and that's half the reason I went to Canberra to play, because I was close to here. In both of his careers, Ian has worked alongside family, and both jobs have not been for the faint-hearted. These days, his wife Lisa shares the load. Because it's my passion, dairy farming, and, and Lisa gets out of bed and, and milks the cows by herself every second morning, and. We take it in turns, and for her not to have the passion, I think she's a lot more tolerant than me because, as I said, it's my thing and not her thing, and she's still dragging herself out of bed in minus three degrees, and your fingers are that cold, they don't work, and she, she keeps doing it. Ian threw himself into life after football, but this game is not as simple to leave. His cows are only valuable when times are good, and until that happens, he loses money feeding them. You don't give in easily, do you? Oh, no, no, I don't think any dairy farmer is going to give in easy, or, or any farmer in general is not going to give in easy. So they've got that passion to be able to, to be here, and I can't tell you why we want to be here, but we've got a beautiful farm and a beautiful house, and the kids have grown up here, and they're sort of... We've, we've got what we want, so why would we want to go anywhere else? I think once I got into something else, I'd be fine. I'd immerse myself in that new enterprise or new business or new life, and 
I'd be fine, but geez, there'd be some tears. There'd be some tears in, down the paddock in between time. If you haven't had a chance yet to donate and you want to play your part, whether it's big or small, simply text FOOTY to 0437 371 371. And to donate more than $5, you can buy bail at buybail.com.au. It's a rural aid initiative.